Okay, great morning. First day of the Biden administration. So let's see what's going through Biden's mind today. His first day of heavy work, although yesterday he did work, I have to say. And we find out now what a surprise when it comes to the vaccines, getting them out. Trump administration had no plan, okay? What else is new? And then he'll be, be sitting there saying what a great plan they have and they're just on top of it. Oh my goodness. I get some crazy fool out there that, uh, you know, is saying that he's got this, that, that Trump has this contract that he cannot lift. Oh, that's fake news. You don't know anything. <laughs> They, they just still don't want to give up the, these uh, Trumpites with their, you know, anything that they don't want to hear, it's fake news, so. But no, he does have a contract with Palm Beach and he is not supposed to live there. You can poo poo it all you want, but that's the reality. So let's look at Biden. What is on Biden's mind the first day of his work? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What's on his mind is working, you know, working together with those um, in his administration, getting busy. Okay. The challenge is to move things forward, okay? Um, yeah, I like the chariot card. It's really working, and I mean, he's struggling against those horses that are, so yeah, he's got a struggle ahead of him. You know, he's got a few people in place, but he's still got a lot more that he needs to get in place so that they can do the work that's needed. Conscious thoughts are about justice. Yeah, he he is all about justice he's all about the US wanting the best for our the best for our country okay how he sees himself just starting out on this journey he he's got this path he's picked um, day one of the journey and uh, so that's it he's on his way uh, let's see what the unconscious subconscious thoughts are about lovers about working with others about getting the right people in there you know to do what needs to be done okay how others see the surrounding things that people are willing to work together and i think that you know he wants to try to get the repugly uglies to work across the aisle as well um, so, so different than the, the Trumpian drama that we had going. Uh, past, big burden. Yeah, he's coming in with a lot of work to be done. Um, it's a heavy, heavy challenge to take on. Nothing easy about what he's doing. He's got so much to clean up after. I mean, it's going to take months just to do cleanup and to rescind all the nonsense and crap that Trump put in and he tried to, you know, uh, dismantle for his time in there. Anything that Obama did, Trump came in with a plan to dismantle it. He is so failed. <laughs> okay. So hopes and fears are about... Um, Okay, I think it's about getting the economy going, getting people up and running. Um, also, n not only the whole government economy, but uh, p about people uh, just being able to live. Okay, have food on the table, have a roof over their head. So I think that this is a big burden that he's taken on. Um, number one burden is to get people... Um, in a place where they can go forward, get this country back in a stable position. 
Okay. So what we have is, uh, yeah, immediate future is, you know, money, money out of pocket, out of hand. Um, usually that's the card, the five of the pentacles is you're out, you know, you're out. <laughs> you're, you're out. You've got no money. You're hurt. You're ill. So, but this one looks a little more positive. We're looking to get the money in the hands of people that need it, okay? Longer term future, um, <clears throat> yeah, putting this action into place, uh, <clears throat> getting the right authority in place and getting things moving, okay? Further future, um, getting back to affluence, I think this is, as a country, getting us back to affluence, as our position in the world, all of that type of thing, not just monetary. And, uh, yeah, it's about uh, trying to uh, get things um, meted out, judged, balanced. Um, yeah. Yeah. So one of the first thing he got us back to the climate change. He's getting us back to the nuclear programs, to all the different things that uh, the Trumpian fool took us out of, you know, getting back in sync with the rest of the world um, rather than this America first, which is really America only drama that this fool that has now left uh, and has mounting problems coming up. <laughs> so yeah, we just need to get back on the um, world program and, and get it. And it's going to take this whole four years to get things back even somewhat stable. Okay. So a um, lot of work to be done. So let's look at Kamala. What is in the mind of Kamala today? Let's see what's in the mind of Kamala today as her first day as vice president. What is Kamala up to today as vice president? So first thing we have out Ah, looking at these foreign things. Um, she may be working on uh, some things in the Senate, having to oversee uh, the Russia investigation, the stuff with Trump, um, his second impeachment stuff. That's on her mind a bit. <clears throat> and the world, uh, yeah, the ending of his drama okay wanting to um i think she's wanting to get that cleared up get that off the table get that uh finished uh that's kind of in her mind and so that they can move on to other things okay conscious thoughts you will it's time yeah <clears throat> so her conscious thoughts are about uh you know, this is uh, karma and a wheel. We need to get stuff going. We need to get things uh, in a timely manner. Things have to be done in a timely manner. Um, how she sees herself, uh, we have swords that uh, get, she's standing for truth and uh, wanting to get these things going. Um, wants to get the people out there to uh, testify, to uh, stand up and uh, weigh in on, you know, the um, end of the uh, Trumpian thing, get it done, okay. Uh, subconscious, yeah, death, transition, we need to get this done and off and out of here once and for all so that we can move forward into other things. So yeah, she just wants to get this uh, Trumpian stuff done as quickly as possible. The energy surrounding it is as a burden. 
you know, um, yeah, people are seeing this as a, as a burden, uh, just trying to get through this. It's a sticky, nasty mess, you know, like a cesspool, and just want to get it over, okay, so we can move on to better things. Uh, in the past, we have sun, we have light, um, and we want to continue to have light. She wants to bring it back to, to where we were before, okay? Hopes and fears, looking at what can be salvaged, what do we have, what can we trade on, um, what's there to be harvested, uh, you know, trying to figure out what we have of benefit so we can move forward. Short term, a lot of stuff coming, a lot of stuff just flying rapidly. Longer term um, is more about uh, starting, um, starting to talk about uh, the, the emotional state of the U.S. and our place in the world and things. So, yeah. Okay, for the future, we have um, looking at the abuses of power. Okay. Yeah, abuses of power that were there put into place by the Trumpian drama. So it's about making some changes so that these things can't take place again. This is about the corruption of that last administration and uh, wanting to uh, get in a place where they can uh, make changes. Um, maybe laws, put in laws into effect so these things can't happen again. So yeah, she's got a lot on her plate. She wants to get this stuff cleared out uh, with Trump um, so we can get other things out there. Uh, but he needs to face prosecution. I mean, then they need to take him, um, take away his ability to run for office again and take away the, the things that most presidents get, $200,000 a year, a million dollar travel expenses, continued security. Um, he doesn't deserve any of those things. So she wants to get that off the table, done as quickly as possible so they can move on to more uh, prolific things, better things, uh, for this administration and for the the uh, people at large, okay. So I'm going to leave this here so it's not too long, and then I'll take a look and see what uh, how things are going at Mar-a-Lago the first day out of office. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in, Love and Light, and I'll see you online.